The Iranian military concluded a two-day drill of the unmanned aerial vehicles, which more than 150 drones, including underground ones, were deployed in the drills. During the drill, various combat drones, KM bombs, Almas missiles and MK-82 bombs to destroy targets, including command and control centers, fuel tanks, ammunition depot, and radar and missile systems. On the first day of the drill, the unmanned aerial vehicles manufactured by the Iranian Army and the Defense Ministry successfully carried out reconnaissance and monitoring missions in border areas and international waters. On the second day, actual weapons were used in combat training exercises. Amid stealth, the drone and the Karar class UAV were among the UAVs assessed in the exercises. Both are capable of being equipped with different kinds of bombs and rockets. Meanwhile, in Kremlin, Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree to increase the size of the country's armed forces by an additional 137,000 personnel. The decree published on the country's legal information portal shows the amount of military staff that will be increased to over 1,150,000. The new order will enter into force on January 1, 2023. The 19th meeting of Council of the Defense Ministers of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization was held in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Secretary of National Security Council, the President of Uzbekistan, Viktor Mahmudov, read the address of Uzbek President Shavkat Mirziyoyev, stressing the joint efforts of SCO member states in dealing with challenges and threats. The participants pointed out that joint drills needed to be held regularly to combat international terrorists who use new tactics. During the meeting, defense ministers exchanged views on further improving the defense capabilities of the SCO member countries and also stressed the importance of enhancing military technical cooperation and hope to enhance cooperation in the field of military education.